This is a certified hood classic. What's up ladies? Alright, so in today's video we're going to be making a Travis Scott slash Trippy Red-esque beat, not type-esque. So in this video I'm going to be using loops for my new loop kit that just dropped. It's called Swan, link in the description if you're interested. And it basically includes a bunch of dark and melodic loops all made by me that something like Travis Scott or like Metro would make. So yeah, if you guys are interested in those sounds, it'll be in the description and let's get to the video. Alright, so now my lights are off, LED lights are on, pants are off, we're officially ready to get this beat started. So I'm just going to go into my loop kit and choose out one of my personal favorites which was called birds i'll let you guys have a listen right now all right so first thing we're gonna do is make sure it's on to bpm so what i'm gonna do is make sure it loops perfectly so i'm gonna find to where it was a loop so that's where the beginning of a loop was so i'm just gonna drag it down till i get it onto the grid so i think right there is good so now let's check to see if it's on bpm now i'm gonna chop up every single part separately so i have the bells the piano and then the sub bass and i'm gonna make them all on their own separate mixer track now i'm gonna make the transitions for the song before i start adding drums i just want to see how this beat is going to really be laid out so i'm gonna have it start off with the piano like this i'm coming with the sub bass And before I bring the bells in, I'm gonna go ahead and gross beat them so then I could create a little automation and a little transition for when the drums come in. Half speed, create automation clip. And now I'm gonna automate this and make it transition into when the bells come in for the drums. So this is what we got so far. Have this part and i'm gonna start doing drums now just go grab some travis scott slash trippy red type drums so i've been listening to um early morning trapping recently and like the perk snares they use and i just thought it was super dope so i'm just gonna be using some perk snares all right so let's start getting the rhythm of the track going put down some simple hi-hats they are gonna have this as a layered perk snare Now let's go grab some open hats. All right, so I got the balance of the drums going. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the kick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and layer some 808s over. What I'm gonna do is turn out the out knob so it fades out quicker so it's it doesn't sustain as long. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay down some 808 pattern. So I'm gonna try and find the key of it. All right, that's it. So I'm gonna bring this down. Then right here I'm gonna add some 808 slides. Go ahead and cut this right here. Make it slide, add another one, make it slide. So I'll make the slide a little bit shorter by making these notes smaller. So like this, so it's a little bit sharper. Perfect, okay, and then let's continue the 808 pattern. Now 
All right, so we got the basic patterns of the drums. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them into my mixer track. So for the 808, a cool little trick I like to do is add some delay widen preset on my 808 to make it a lot more like wide. Obviously, it's called the add some of that. And now I'm gonna show you guys the difference it makes. So this is without it. I'm gonna add it on. It just adds that whole, kind of just spreads it out, makes it a lot wider. So So I'm gonna add a perk loop into this. So what I'm gonna do is open up Fruity Slicer, then drop in a loop. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, and I don't want to get in the way of the drum, so I'm gonna up the attack a little bit. And I'm also gonna pitch it down to give it a cool effect. I'm also gonna add a flanger onto it to give it a cool little effect. So now I'm gonna want it to transition from the 808 to a sub bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Silent and just find a sub bass. So now we're gonna have this transition from the 808 to the sub bass. So we'll just have this part here. And that beat right there is basically done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys do end up purchasing my loop kit, send me videos of what you guys did with my loops. Just DM me on Instagram and send me a video and I'll be responding to everybody. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see next. If you guys want any of the drums used in this video, everything could be found in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.